Once upon a time, many years ago, when I was a little girl, I loved to visit my uncle Drosselmeyer. He was the best clockmaker in all the town of Minden. Uncle Drosselmeyer and my Aunt Gerda lived in an old house that overlooked the main street. During the day, the streets of Minden were bright and happy. But at night, when the fog silently rolled around the houses, it was said that the evil ragman would appear. Aunt Gerda told me that he carried a bag over his hunched shoulders and was looking, always looking to fill it. He moved through the night, searching each home. Beware the ragman if you stay up late. Watch out. Good children were safe, Aunt Gerda said, asleep and warm beneath their blankets. They had nothing to fear. But look out if you were awake past bedtime. The ragman would catch you. And when he did, she said, he would smile wickedly, point his crooked cane, and turn you into a mouse. just such a night when I was still a young girl that I arrived to visit my Aunt Gerda and Uncle Drosselmeyer. And I would never be the same again. his court, and how can I forget the funny Chamberlain were childhood friends of mine. Uncle Drosselmeyer was always full of surprises, and he made many wonderful presents for me. But my favorite, and I think his too, was this puppet theater. Clara, there's the clock. If the ragman comes, you'd better be in bed. Besides, your puppets will be here in the morning. I know. But Fritz is coming here tomorrow, and I can't wait. Oh, Aunt Gerda, I'm so excited, I could never sleep. Hmm. My Fritz. I wonder how he looks now. It's been such a long time. Uh-huh. I bet he's so handsome. Remember now, people can change when they go away. Don't set your heart too much on the past, my dear. Now you really must get some sleep. Enough dreaming. It's getting late. My Fritz. He'll never change. You know, he'll always be the same person I remember. Just think, four years have passed. You know, I'm no longer little, and I've decided I'm not going to bed. 
I don't believe in the ragman. Auntie, did you understand what I said? I'm too grown up to believe. Oh, really? That's right. The ragman's not real. You can't scare me anymore. Enough of that. I want you in bed this instant. What if he came right now and caught you wide awake? Hmm. Clara? Hmm? It's Uncle Drosselmeyer. Oh, we thought you were the ragman. You know better than to scare us like that. I certainly yes. wasn't expecting you home this soon. I thought you said the mayor's clock would take you all night. Yes. yes. Eh? You did fix the mayor's clock. Answer yes, me. Yes. Could you fix it or not? Ah, my dear, am I not the best clockmaker in all the town of Minden? Is that so? And what about our own clock downstairs? Hmm, my dear? Even I will admit that was a great challenge, but not quite impossible. You mean our clock works now? Not too fast, not too slow, but on time. I remember last time you said the same thing. And it never stopped chiming. Ah, chime, chime, chime. Oh. All your aunt worries about is tick, tock. Finish your work. <laughs> Follow the clock. Go ahead, make fun. But there's something strange about our clock. You may be right, my dear. Aha! And here it is. Behold, the spring. I think it's all sprung. Eh? <laughs> ah, my Gerda. A strange clock? Nonsense. Oops. Ah, that silly doll. Oh, how sweet. A nutcracker. For me? For you? You think he's cute? Really? Yes, the cutest. Oh, he is. He's precious. Can I have him? No, 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 no. Not this doll. Particularly not this doll. You can't. You couldn't want him, hmm? See how his buck teeth stick out? And the eyes, they're too huge. He really is terribly homely, you know. No. What could you possibly Everything. Like? Everything is just right. Ah, well, I'm glad you like what I made. As you see, there are still many things that are wrong with it. Wrong? Oh, Uncle. <sighs> Please listen. <clears throat> I'm an old clockmaker, but my real love is dolls. So every day I try to make a doll that's perfect both inside and out. You have no idea how hard that is. And how many times I've failed, my dear. Too many, too many. I've made, oh, I've made lots of dolls, so many of them. But people only want to buy beautiful dolls. What good is a doll with just a kind heart? Now the one you have right there has a perfectly beautiful heart. And yet, something, something is just not right. Enough talk, or you'll be exhausted tomorrow, Clara. But Auntie... <coughs> Fritz is coming tomorrow. Don't you want to look nice for him? Besides, I've told you a thousand times about the ragman. <laughs> now you may laugh, but you know what'll happen. You'll become a mouse if you're still awake. <laughs> <laughs> Pooh. But please, Annie, can I keep the doll here? Oh, for... I promise. I'll go right to sleep. Let mm -hmm. the child have the doll. And no more speeches. You talk all night. No yes, more. Yes, yes, yes. She but needs I... sleep. It's late. Please, Uncle. You can keep the doll. Enough said. But I only... <laughs> ah, ah, well. She has spoken.
Lilies in the night, moon shadow, knocking on the door, calling Clara. Somewhere in the dark, a doll awakens to dance a dream of fantasy. Palace of the princess, deeply dreaming, midnight minuet. As she is sleeping, Clara, take my hand, hear the music, now the dance of the dolls has begun, and in the moonlight, you mean you went, dancing alone in your first pirouette, this is the dance of the Hear the music now that the dance of the dolls has begun. Ah, uh, what? Hey, my Nutcracker doll. Oh, my poor little Nutcracker doll. What have they done to you? You're safe now. Are you sure they didn't hurt you? You better let me see. Oh. Goodness, what a lovely little doll you have there. Now, if you just give it to us, we'll be on our way. Oh, I wouldn't try leaving. Unless you leave the doll behind. What are we waiting for? Grab the girl and steal the doll! I think we got her. Why don't you take a nap, dearie? How dare you? Follow me! Attack! Well, get him! Attack! Huh? What are they waiting for? Cowards! Get him! screaming. Is something wrong? Did you have a nightmare? Wake up. <clears throat> I'm worried about you, Clara. You have to wake up now. <clears throat> my doll. The mice took my doll. Oh, now, Clara. Ha! Mice taking your little doll. It sounds like a dream to me. <laughs> Aunt Gerda, no! They were here, and I saw them, and I chased them, too. If you say so. But 
But there was a two-headed mouse in everything. A two-headed mouse? Mm-hmm. It's true. Really, Auntie, it's all true. I believe you think it's true. But dreams are not what they seem to be. You mustn't let them go too far. But you don't understand. I wasn't dreaming because my brave nutcracker, he defended my life, Auntie. Your life? He was so very brave. If only you could have seen him fighting off all those mice with his sword. Really? That's enough of that kind of talk. Quite enough. Fritz will be here soon, young lady. Hadn't you better hurry? Come now, Clara, we haven't much time. I thought you couldn't wait to see Fritz. Fritz? Oh, my head hurts. Your head? Are you ill, dear? I'll bet you had too much excitement, that's all. Oh, my, you're burning up. Here, lie down. Keep the covers up to your chin. Now I'm going to send for the doctor. Was it? Could it all have been real? It was so long ago, but I remember that I fell asleep. My head hurt terribly. Images began to spin in my mind. One question kept repeating itself. Where was my Nutcracker doll? Where was my Nutcracker? Suddenly, I found myself downstairs, standing all alone before Uncle Drosselmeyer's grandfather clock. to believe. Is someone there? Uncle Drosselmeyer. What are you doing in there? Uncle Drosselmeyer, tick, wait for tea. me. Tick tock tea. Tick tock. Click clock fantasy. Come into clock land where we can turn back the hand of time. What do you think you will see in a click clock fantasy? Tick tock tea. Tick tock tea. Flashes flying full of faces, oh so mesmerizing. His time standing still, it's such a thrill, it's hypnotizing. It's a click of fantasy. Wait! Wait, Uncle Drosselmeyer! Mm. 
There you are. Please, don't go. Wait! Wait for me! Uncle Drosselmeyer? She looks like me. Oh. I found myself in a very strange room. Could it belong to the girl in the picture? And such a lovely room, but so strangely quiet. <gasps> Princess, Princess Mary. Uh, oh. oh, my daughter, Mary. Mary. The curse yes. is broken. Yes. What curse? I'm not your daughter, Mary. Of course you are, my dear. Oh, you're free at last. You're my little girl once again. I was sure that you were lost to me forever. <laughs> but my name is Clara. Please, sir, I'm not your mm. daughter. What? Chamberlain, what is the meaning of this? Oh, Majesty, I, I don't know what to think. <laughs> Oh. 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 oh no, don't faint. Please. You told me your name is Clara. But as you see, you look exactly like my lovely daughter, Mary. I know. I'm sorry I made you sad. Please tell me what happened to Mary. All right, if I must. Ah, but it's a sad, sad story. Isn't it, Chamberlain? Yes. 
It was, it was that wicked, wicked, two-headed Queen Morphia who did it to us. <laughs> did you say two-headed? You've met the wicked, two-headed Queen Morphia? And you survived? Fantastic. We were not so lucky, Clara. Uh, to begin the story, I should tell you that my kingdom of the dolls was happy and peaceful. <laughs> Until that fateful day when Morphea and her mice took over. After that, we had no choice but to declare war and attack the Queen. It's an awful thing to send dolls into battle. <sighs> so my army fought. But you see, my soldiers are run by springs, and springs unwind. Ah, uh, in the end, my captain of the guard, Franz, could do no better than protect the princess and my pitiful self. Yes, 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 a uh, disaster. We were so badly beaten. <laughs> What else could we do but surrender? We signed the papers, but that was not enough for Queen Morphea. She ordered my darling daughter to be married to her despicable son, Gar. <laughs> my only daughter married to that evil Gar. No, by my eyes. And she punished me by casting a spell on my darling. Her dark power changed my lovely daughter Mary into that ugly, sleeping mouse you saw. How terribly sad. Your Majesty? men be here soon yes preparations are made the wise men will be arriving tomorrow they have come from all over the world to help us I'm pleased we must trust that so much wisdom will break Queen Morphea's evil spell negatively negative I would describe your ideas further but in my country, cows and their many products are sacred. Only the Maharaja Mongosa, holy mystic of the Far East, can release Princess Mary from her unfortunate and rather ugly dilemma. Arise, O oh great Mongosa, transform yourself into the king of snakes. Gentlemen, ladies, do not be alarmed. The Maharaja does not bite. Too often. Cobra bites, not good. Not often, not often. Siri cobra snake, no good. Pirine, good. Ah, not usual cat, so. Oh. But fat cat is bargain, so. Oh. Ah, riveted offer this week only. Fat cat break mouse spell when eat mouse. Boy scout honor. Offer void where prohibited. Fat cat top banana in east. Ah, none better. Ah, ee, no, no, no. Piss off, John. Made in Hong Kong. We must address the problem intelligently. Now I, Otto von Otta, corona of Europe, will see my biggest hit. My golden voice will quickly swoon the spell away. Ah, me since the night. <coughs> For my second hit. Hey, hey. Pay attention to me, my little comrades. Boris Swa Boris has five year plan to awaken princess. Five measly years. Hey, hey. Five years, that's all. Hey. Hey, comrade. If not five, then ten. Fifteen max. Hey. Hey, hey, hey! Uh, Your Majesty, 
you, your majesty. Lend me your ear. I have written a rhyme to wake up your dear. <clears throat> oh, roses, roses, roses so red. Violets, violets, violets so purple. Sugar is a sweet, and so is a maple syrup. Oh, princess dear, oh, do not fear. Your rhymer Gambino is here, is here. Oh, worry not about that spell. My poem sends all of the mice to a... <clears throat> well, this poem is a light. This poem is a fair. It's a simple, simple, like walking on air. Magic is the only way to fight magic. Here's something I picked up while plundering Europe. It will change the ugly princess back into her normal self. Assistant, the pigeon, please. To prove my magic, I will change this pigeon into a... Mm, a lovely swan. Abracadabra, swan appear. Oops. Upon the Swanee River. Poppycock, Your Majesty. Such things as snakes, songs, sonnets, and spells should be left to science. Solutions are my cup of tea, Your Great Majesty. Solutions and answers, and wonderful beakers of similar things. Oh, may we? Problems are problems to all men but me. I mix and I pour a solution, O3. <laughs> if only I knew the problem, you see. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm here to save the princess. Off with heads, off with heads. That's the solution to the problem, Governor. Any problem. But I faint at the sight of blood. Whee! Only I, having read the ancient scrolls and books, and the Arabian Nights itself, can awake King Goodwin's daughter with a kiss. Oh. <laughs> a tender kiss. A little smooch, a small smack. You are terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh, no. Let's have order, please. Uh, yes. Yes. What? Oh, no, stop it. Listen to me, wise men. You have to stop this. From the wee highlands of Scotland to the shores of Tripoli. Only one name is known. And he is me, Clovis the Errand Knight, at your service. <laughs> Letters, telegrams, packages, notes, <laughs> give them to me. Communication to Morphia is the key, you see. Uh, have some tea. No, no, science is the key. I have the solution. Solutions are my specialty. Stop, everyone. Where's this snake? All right, what did you do with that snake? He's loose, he's loose. My cobra is loose. Number one, number one. Five-year plan, comrades. I have orders from the Kremlin. Five-year plan, I say. I will bring to the world disorder. Pollution. Yeah. You're stupid. God, send you to there is no hope. What is to become of my poor sleeping darling now? Must she be a mouse forever? 
Poor King Goodwin. I felt so sorry for him and the princess. If the wise men couldn't help them, then who could? I wandered dark streets that led me ever deeper into the night. What could I do to save the princess? something wrong. Hmm? Yes. Queen Morphea cast a spell on Princess Mary. Wise men from all over the world came, but they thought only of themselves and never tried to help. Do you know of some way to help the princess? Hmm. I'm not a wise man. It's difficult to say. Wait. Where are you going? There is a person who might be of help. A gypsy fortune teller who lives over that way, somewhere. It is said she sees things others cannot. If you want to help the princess, the gypsy may be the one you seek. When you find her door, just say, Queen of Time, now. Follow the yellow-beaked bird. Thank you so much. Goodbye. time? I am called that. Please. Can you? Yes. Can you help me? I was, I was told to, to come here. 
Do you think I can help? Oh, I hope you can help. You're the queen of time, and you must know all. Oh, don't you? Maybe. Oh. Yes. I. It's just. I. I have nothing to give you. <laughs> Your kind heart more than repays me. But what you seek is not mine alone to give. Remember that. I will. But please, can you tell me how the spell can be broken? Ah, come closer. Shell of darkness. Yes, and when you crack it, the princess will be released, and Queen Morphia will be destroyed forever and ever. Clara, what you ask is impossible. That shell is harder than steel. But the Queen of Time said this sort of pearl can crack it. Ah, truly. This can save the princess. I'll use it. Yes, there is hope. Then you must go back to war. What choice do we have? We must fight, and this time we must win, or die in the attempt. Please, Franz, be careful, and know that my heart goes with you too. I know. Goodbye.
First division ready to be wound, sir. Second division ready to be wound, sir. Wind the troops. First division ready, sir. Second division ready, sir. Troops ready, your majesty. must be destroyed. If Princess Mary is released from Queen Morphea's spell, I will give you her hand in marriage. I knew King Goodwin was sad at heart as his troops marched off to war. Oh, if Franz can only crack the shell of darkness with the pearl sword, I thought, then they might have a chance. But what if he can't? What if the surprise attack doesn't work? Fire! 
I'm gonna miss you so. Father, dear. My Mary, I thought I'd never see you again. I can go to win. Ah, my hey? king, the party is prepared now. Oh, good. Come, let us celebrate the joy that is within our heart. Come, come, everyone. We should all retire to the ballroom. Oh, there'll be music and dancing. Oh, I do love dancing. <laughs> Mary, you know, we owe so much to France's bravery. And I have promised him your hand in marriage. Really? Oh, Father, thank you. But where is he? France. France, my boy. Where are you? That's strange. Where could he be? Chamberlain, why isn't France here? I, oh, my, my Majesty, I, I d d don't know. Has anybody seen France? Speak up, please, right now. Your Highness. He's here. He's been turned into this Nutcracker doll. Queen Morphea cast a spell on him. 
Franz sacrificed himself to save your kingdom. Poor evil Queen Morphea. She put a curse on him. Franz? It's true. What is this girl saying? This doll can't be my husband to be. Oh. Oh, it is true. No. I won't marry a homely doll. Oh, but princess, you shouldn't feel that way. He gave everything he had to save you from the spell. Well then, dear, why don't you marry him? Here, look. He's just a piece of wood. If you want him, take him. I'm way too pretty to marry that. Everyone, let's forget all this. Really, enough sad stories. Besides, isn't your princess worth a celebration? Come, let's go and start the party. Come on, come on, father. Uh, oh. Uh, Forget but... her and that silly dog. <sighs> yes, dear. My dear doll, Discouraged and alone, I felt that the Queen of Time was the only friend I had left. Thank you. 
nutcracker here in the dark. In the, dark. The, journey the journey home is so home far. Is so far. Pardon me. Can you tell me where this path leads to? If I go straight through this forest, where will it take me? Can you hear me? I'm going this way. Where will I come out? Can't you hear me? What's wrong? Why won't you answer me? Have I said something to make you angry? I only want to help free Franz from the spell and find my way back home. Why won't you help me? <laughs> you might as well question the trees, my dear. Puppets only do what I want them to do. They're wood through and through. See the strings? I'm Clara. Who are you? Why, the puppeteer. The only puppeteer. Really? Well, well maybe you're the one who can help me. Ah, could be. I'm a great helper, and my solutions are free, see. But there are no guarantees. Ah, what a cute little nutcracker. It's under a spell, isn't it? A nasty spell. Hmm? How did you know? Hmm. Well, I couldn't possibly guarantee the work you know, unless... Unless... Unless? Unless what? Can't you help? Maybe, maybe, unless it's... It's more fears. It is. Oh. What can you do for my poor doll? Well, uh, well, well, if Morphia did cast the spell, then I positively can guarantee that there is nothing I can do for you. Oh. Only the timekeeper has the answers that you seek. A tiny man with only one eye. Just keep looking. Thank you. The timekeeper doesn't give guarantees either, and that's a promise. Time, time, time. Are you the timekeeper? Eh? Ah, so there you are. I've been waiting for you, Clara. I knew you wouldn't give up until you found me, my dear. Then you know about... I... Ron. I... I was told that only I could save him from the curse. I, lass, with love. Love. Love? That's what we've been trying to tell you. But there's more to love. Ah, Morphia. Her dying spell was very strong. Then there's nothing you can do for him. Nothing. Of course I can help you, my dear. Trust me. The real key is in your heart, Clara. In yourself. Remember that. Ah, uh, but don't be fooled. Your heart must know. Know that your love is very real and true. But I do love him. Really. Mm hmm. Completely, eh? Yes. But a true love means sacrifice. I see. So that's the key. But what can I do? True love cannot stay inside. It always shows itself. Only true love can save France. 
you must make a sacrifice for him as great as the one he made. Real loves are not like the puppets in the forest because true love has no strings attached. Look deep into your heart, Clara. Do you really love Franz that much? Welcome, Clara, to the land of happy times. of happiness. From now on, it will be our palace.
Welcome, Clara and Franz. Welcome to the Palace of Happiness. It is yours forever and ever. True love means sacrifice, Clara. Have you sacrificed for Franz? Uncle Drosselmeyer! But what do you mean? Oh, my foot. I can't move my feet. Franz! Please don't go! Franz! I won't let you go! Franz! I won't let you go! Sacrifice! No! Give it back! Give him here! Leave him alone! He's mine! I'll never let you have him! I want revenge! Franz dared to kill my mother and destroy her power! Franz must die! Ah! He will die! No! Don't hurt him! You get away from him! Isn't your mother's curse on him enough? Can't you just forgive him? No! I'll never forgive Franz! No! Just hurt him? No! 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 Take me instead! I said, if you spare him, I'll give my life. What? Please. I truly love him with all my heart. You stupid fool! No! I'll save you, Franz! I love you! started falling, falling, falling without end. Where was my nutcracker? I felt so dizzy. Oh, how I wanted Franz. And where was Uncle Drosselmeyer and Aunt Gerda? I heard myself call out, Franz, Uncle Drosselmeyer, Franz, Uncle Drosselmeyer, Aunt Gerda, Franz, Uncle Drosselmeyer. Gerda! Franz! Uncle Drosselmeyer! Aunt Gerda! Uh, Uncle Drosselmeyer! Oh, dear Clara, are you feeling better now? Yes. Your Uncle Drosselmeyer and I have been terribly worried. You've had a fever. Are you listening to me? You were having nightmares. Aunt Gerda? Am I really here? Was it only a dream? Everyone dreams. You mustn't worry about it. Besides, there's someone else who's waiting to see you. He's been so worried, I'll show him in right now. Uh, someone's waiting? Fritz is waiting. Franz? Can it be? <gasps> you know, Clara. Yes, Uncle Drosselmeyer? Dreams can come true. Hello, Clara. It's been a long time. These flowers, they're not nice enough for someone pretty as a princess. And as you might have guessed, we lived happily ever after. Lilies in the night, moon shadow, knocking on the door, calling Clara. Somewhere in the dark, a doll awakens to dance a dream of. 
Take my hand, hear the music. 